what up guys welcome back to another video so i've been really giving this some thought should i put performant mods into the modified honda civic si now i've been thinking because this is my daily now if you guys have a daily car out there and you want to put some performance mods into your car should you do it now i really don't know what I'm, this video is going to really jump into to be honest with you guys 50 percent chance i might and 50 percent i might not because if i do that and something happens to my car and this is the only car i have right now it's going to mess content up on the channel so i know people want me to put a supercharger turbo kit that is fun and all but i don't have another car now you're wondering why why are you talking about this because I came to a conclusion guys and I'm thinking about saving up my money bringing the agent back to the channel and putting money in that car but don't get me wrong I love this car to death but I just feel like right now it's at a perfect it's at a perfect thing right now like I'm not scared but I don't want to mess up a good thing so couple things I want to do to this car I want to add a short rim intake and I want to change out my brake calibers change out my brake rotors for sure and do a wrap on this car and I do apologize this car is kind of dirty so we about to clean this car up in a minute and also I don't know what's going on but now I don't know because I installed this side skirt split uh, splinter because the door right now it like it, it it pops right there and and that really is irritating me and getting on my nerves I just want to come on here and discuss this with you guys because I'm really at a standstill because I really would love to make some big power to this car but at the same time we got to think about financial but think about what's the best decision you can do so I'm really thinking about putting this for a really hold off right now put any big engine mods into this car now I really do want to convert to a short shifter because I really but truly believe that would be something unique I would love to have and try it out because I think that will really get me really motivated say so, you no know, I might can put a little bit of performance mods but right now I don't want to feel like touching the engine because I don't have the time and the luxury to be dumping huge amount of money to an engine to get fixed should i just go ahead and just to get this party started and start doing stuff for the eighth gen eighth gen honda civic now so on today's video i don't know where this video is going to go i'm being really really honest with you you guys asked for more vlogs and that's what i'm giving you today so this car right now is very very dirty i'm gonna show you guys how dirty this car is Sorry for that sound. Very dirty. One thing about having a black car is always dirt. Always dirt. And plus, this is my daily, so I take this thing to work all the time. But yes, we're definitely gonna clean this car up. Like, it's so easy. Like, dirt is so easy that, especially inside, like, dirt. Dirt loves this car. Dirt loves it. But on the outside, you can't tell if it's really dirty or not. But up close in person, I can tell this car needs a bath. And but yeah, side skirt splinters look really, really good. I love it. Dashboard always does a great job when it comes to side skirts and front lip splinters. But now my this side of the body kit is messed up. I'm kind of worried, like. How do I fix that? Because I'm not really good into doing body work. And like right here, I might have to take this to another body shop because when I took it to make up, I feel like they just did a poor job on this side and they didn't really finish up like I wanted to. So that's gonna be another video in the works that's coming soon. Let's get started cleaning this nasty car because I have a lot more to talk about with you guys today. All right.
All right, so I got the car completely clean. Looks so nice. Now I'm about to make it quick. Store running right quick. All right, so I went into Dollar General and they only have the Jolly Rancher gummies. Now I am from the South. I know a lot of people don't know what a Dollar General is. So it's like a dollar store, but it's like Dollar General. We have a Dollar Tree that's everything a dollar, but that changed now because I got like a $5 aisle. But now Dollar General is like, I don't know, it's like it says Dollar General, but everything in there is not a dollar. It's like some items could be up to $15, but whatever. So, and I also had to get a lemon lime Gatorade. This is my favorite Gatorade. This thing always hits, especially in the summertime. I don't know why, but it just tastes so, so good. But yeah, um, this is what I'm gonna end the video with today. Um, hope you guys gave me some ideas. I'm just really stuck. Like I wanna do performance mods to the car, but I don't want to do heavy performance mods where I can't drive my car and use it as a daily because right now this is the only car I have until I get another car on the channel and yeah so I'm really thinking about doing headers um, doing Hyundai data flash pro and also getting a short ramp M tape there's like the three things I want to do and once I get the car tuned and stuff I, I'm really gonna see my power it's not gonna be something crazy it's just gonna be something minimum like okay this is what the Hyundai Flash Pro can do. But yes, yeah, so in the future, I want to get everything. When I get another car on the channel where I can use as a daily and put this, like, really work on the engine, that's what I'm going to do because I really want to go all out for this car. But right now, I have to really think of long-term long -term, long -term investments. Um, so this is investment because this is what keeps the channel going is this car so if this car doesn't run i won't have a channel you know i want to do things on this channel because this channel is about my car so yeah so right now i'm gonna put performance mods heavy performance mods on the back burner but i will begin a short ram intake changing the headers doing a hundred data flash pro tune and we'll go from there but yes hope you guys enjoyed this video i know a lot of new people just subscribe um let you guys know what I do on this channel. I do DIYs, I do how to's, I do car reviews, and I do installs. So, if you want to know a little bit more about me, just go back and watch some of my previous videos and you will get a little, you know, one on one of who I am. But yeah, I'm out of here for today. And yes, that's why I want to come in here and talk to you guys about. I know this is like a vlog type day, and I just really got for work. I just really wanted to pick the camera up and just talk to you guys because I feel like the last video I did. Uh, it was like six days ago and i want to you know keep my momentum keep going because the algorithm the algorithm <laughs> the algorithm on youtube is ridiculous like so you got to stay in and i want to keep my face out there and let y'all guys know that i'm here to stay for a long time but all that rambling i'm out of here hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said before make sure you hit the subscribe button also the notification bell so you won't miss out any of my updates and i see you guys later and uh, also drive with passion.